Mmm, fried okra, a staple of the South. Let's go make some. Fried okra is a staple in the South, and it's real easy to make. I keep the dredge in a zip-top bag and label it, so I can use it anytime I need. In my opinion, the best coating is almost all cornmeal. You use a little bit of flour just to kind of hold it together, but if you use too much flour, it becomes more of a breading, and that's not really the Southern way. So I use two cups of cornmeal and only a quarter cup of flour, then a whole bunch of black pepper and some salt. Now mix it all together and go get your okra. If you have access to fresh okra, that's great, but if not, you can use frozen. I use frozen quite a bit. When I do, I use the whole okra, not the already cut and definitely not the already breaded. If you're using frozen, then lay them out and let them thaw for just a few minutes, but before they're completely thawed, you want to go ahead and cut them. From here on out, whether you're using fresh or frozen, the method is exactly the same. Cut off the tough stem end and discard that. Then cut the rest of it in about half inch pieces. For those of you who may never have seen an okra before, this is what they look like. When you cut into them, you can see that there are some channels with some really soft seeds inside. You've probably also heard of slime. Yeah, okra does have a little bit of slime, but when you're frying them, you're never going to notice that. The slime does get a bad rap, but people use it in gumbo and that helps thicken the sauce. These are also really good pickled as well. Once you've cut up your okra, put it in a bowl and coat it lightly with buttermilk. Don't drown it. Let it soak for a little while while you get your oil and your draining station set up. Get a heavy pan or skillet and put about an inch of oil in it. Then set up something for it to drain in, a rack like this over a pan or even a plate with paper towels will work. Whether you're using a bag or a bowl to coat them, just coat a few at a time. Drain them off a little and put them in and then coat them so that they don't clump up together. Whatever you do, don't just turn the bowl up and pour them all in at once. They will definitely be one big clumpy mess. Really coat them well, especially if you're using a bag. Keep shaking it and then press it down. You want to really press that coating onto the okra. Don't squash the okra though. When they're well coated, just leave them sitting there for a little while and that'll help the coating adhere better. Make sure your oil is at 375. As you can see, I've already fried some squash, which is another show on Kimberly in the Kitchen. Carefully put your okra in the oil, but don't overcrowd the pan. You don't want to cool down the oil. Move them around occasionally so that they can brown evenly. If they start to splatter too much, which sometimes they do, Use a splatter screen if you've got one. Once they're a deep golden brown, remove them to the draining rack. Be sure and salt them once they come out of the oil. Better make extra, you'll be eating them as you cook them. See you next time on Kimberly in the Kitchen.